Are you going through a storm? I'm Tim Greenwood, and this is Windows on the Word. Jesus' disciples encountered a great storm in Mark 4, 35 through 40. Jesus told them to take him by ship to the other side of the lake while he slept. And caught out on the open water, a great storm arose, and the, the ship started taking on water. And an absolute panic, they made their way back to Jesus and woke him up. Jesus got up, rebuked the wind, and spoke to the sea, and instantly the storm was over. And then he asked the disciples why they hadn't already done what he had just demonstrated by feeding the 5,000, and answered his own question by pointing out the presence of fear and the absence of faith. Here's what you can do during times of storms. Number one, reach out during these storms. Never ever permit yourself to hide away or to isolate yourself or to separate yourself from other people. The devil would love to put guilt and shame on you because of the storm you're going through, but never accept his lies, but rather Seek the help and comfort of other mature Christians. Get them to pray for you in agreement. Number two, continue your daily routine. This is the peace of God ruling in your life, not confusion. Don't allow yourself to lose any sleep or anything else by worrying about it. Number three, refuse to fear. You see, faith can't coexist with fear. You can only operate in one or the other during a storm. And I say choose faith because choosing faith is choosing life. Number four, don't make quick emotional personal decisions during that storm. Keep your emotions in check. And if there really is some area that needs to be changed in your life, you can come to God and deal with that later. Number five, Remember that these storms don't belong to you. Never allow yourself to be sucked into the whirlpool of other people's storms. If you help other people during a storm, pray a blood covering over yourself and continue to love them and speak the word to them. Number six, rule the storm and never tolerate them. Mark 11, 23 says, to speak to your mountain and command it to leave. You need to do this right away and then only say what God's Word says about it. Never speak or claim the negative, ever. Number seven, praise and thank God continually during that storm. Use your shield of faith which quenches all the fiery darts of the wicked by thanking and praising God that that mountain, in this case a storm, has gone. And if you do these seven things, you will overcome every storm and you'll always have the victory. <music>